In this how-to video, I'm going to show how to set up logging variables on an FTP server in IIS on a Windows 2008 R2 server. So we're going to want to open up the Internet Information Services Manager from Start Administrative Tools. And from there, we're going to want to click on the name of the server. And we're going to want to double click on FTP logging. First variable we can set is one log file per site or per server. If we choose the server, we'll see all the different sites in one file. If we choose the site, we'll have a separate log file for each FTP site. From here, we choose the log file itself, and here we can choose what options we want in that log file. By default, many of them are included, but you can also add some as well. Click OK. From here, we can set the directory where the log files are located. We can click the Browse button, change that directory if we choose to. We can also set up the encoding. UTF-8 is by default, but ANSI is also available. The log file rollover, this is how often that the log files are created. By default, the log files are created each night. We can also change that to hourly, weekly, or monthly. If you have a lot of log files, you, you want to do it a little bit more often so it's easier to search. If log files, you don't have a lot of people access, then you can change it to weekly or monthly. Here you can change the, uh, instead of on the schedule, you can change it to the maximum file size of the log file in, in bytes. So we can type any number we would want to there. Or we can choose to not create the log files at all. When we're done, we just go ahead and hit apply.